in the last video we were learning about how to code data into spss uh, in simple words what we did was that we converted our questions from the questionnaire to our spss variable view window so just a quick uh, review of what we did in the last video for example if this is our questionnaire and the gender is the first question that we have asked from the respondents so what we do is we go to this uh, variable view and we put a name as gender because this is our first question in our questionnaire so now the serial number is going to give you the number of questions that you've asked in your questionnaire so first is gender so what we did was we have just given a name to this variable or to this question as gender and then the second thing that we did was that we went to this values box and when we clicked this blue button it gave us a new window in which we type one for male and we've added and two for female and then we uh, did the editing so this is what we did in the last video now for the current video what we are going to do is we are going to learn how you can insert data into spss now if we go back to this questionnaire part this highlighted part we are trying to assume that this is the filled part so now we are assuming that your respondent who was your first respondent for example we'll talk about this box in a little while but whoever was your respondent when they uh, ticked to some question or when they've given you a response the respondent ticked on this male answer for the first question in the second question of the experience the respondent said 6 to 10 years of experience and in the educational level masters and the same we have highlighted a few numbers of the likert scales for example 5 5 3 4 5 and then 5 5 5 5 4 4 4 and onwards so now suppose we have this filled questionnaire with us and we want to insert the data into the spss sheet before we uh, insert data into spss sheet in the last video we learned that we have to make our variable view window so once we are done with our very variable view window now we have asked 30 questions in this questionnaire so we have coded these 30 questions into spss and just to recall that these are the values that we gave to our answers for example male was given one female was given two and then uh, one two three four one two three four and then in the next questions we had the Likert scale which we can just see from here so one is for strongly disagree two is for disagree three three is for neutral four is for agree and five is for strongly agree so this is what we coded and we've learned how to code in the last video now when we'll move from variable view to our data view now you will see that the same variables or the same questions that we've asked here they are coming in a vertical manner from top to down but when we move to our data view the same names gender experience education f1 to f7 and then all these variables they will be here from left to right so gender experience education f1 f2 f3 and f4 so this is what spss did for us that whatever we coded in the variable view it has also inserted it in the data view now how do we put data into in the spss sheet now as as we said that consider this a filled questionnaire now for example for the gender the respondents have given different options but this is our first questionnaire so what we are going to do is as we know that we've coded male as 
one. And again, I'm telling you that SPSS can only be used for quantitative data, which means it, it will only analyze numbers. So that is why we have converted this male and female into one and two. Now, for example, if this is the first questionnaire and the person has said male and we've coded it as one. So what we are going to do is we will be putting one in the gender box. Now the next question experience for the experience as we have coded one, two, three, four. So the person has given a third answer, which means we are going to give it number three for the education. Any guesses? Again, three, because we gave intermediate one bachelor's two masters, three and MPhil and PhD four. So this is how we will co we will put our data into our SPSS sheet. Now moving on to our variable items here. We don't have that problem that we don't have to code it. It's already coded. Now we just have to put the number which has been ticked or highlighted by the respondent. For example, for the F1 question, formalization question number one, the respondent has ticked five for the next five, for the next three, then for the next two, four and four, then for the next five, we'll move to our more items. And here again, five, 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 then there are four, four and four. Then there are three, three and three. And then there are five and five. Now the third variable, the third variable of organization innovation has four. So what we, what we'll do is we'll put four here and the next value is also four. Then there is another four. Then there is five, 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 four, four, four. So this way, make sure that we've done all the variables. So this way, what we have done is that we have converted our questionnaires respondents data into the SPSS sheet. The same process will be repeated for the second questionnaire. The second questionnaire, for example, the respondent of the second questionnaire was a female and she might have ticked here. So for female, we are going to put two here. Accordingly, for the second answer, it might be two. For the third answer, it might be four. And the same way we will be putting data according to the field questionnaire. Now, a few more things. This is what we are going to do for all of our field questionnaires. For example, if you have a sample of 100 questionnaires that you have given to respondents and they've filled it, so you will be filling 100 of these boxes for gender, 100 of these boxes for experience. Sometimes the respondent uh, do not tick uh, one of the one of the items. So you can also leave it blank for the time being. We'll talk about it in our uh, next videos what to do with that. But this is how we fill the data into SPSS. Now make sure that if you are getting these uh, questionnaires in hard copy, make sure to have this box and do not pre-fill it. Once you receive a questionnaire, see if it is properly filled and it is copyable to the SPSS sheet, then give it a number. Now, what is the benefit of this uh, number that you give to your hard copy questionnaires is that, for example, if someone asks you or you have any issue with your data, you have some typo or some other thing. So you want to make sure that if you have typed the right data or you have given a wrong value. Now, if this is 0001, and we are filling the data of this questionnaire into our SPSS sheet here, then that means that this is the first questionnaire's data that, that we have filled. The same way, if we are going to have a two here, 
and the responses are different then if we need to verify our responses we can just go to this second questionnaire data so this way you will be filling uh, a number of questions data into the spss sheet now again make sure what you are trying to found for example if you are in the variable view you will be it will be looking like this if you are in the data view it will be looking like this a few more things now you can see that we have just given it one but it is showing 1.00 it is going up to two decimal places so if you if, if you have a data uh, sometimes you have a secondary data which requires decimal places and you need those decimal places then it is fine but if you do not require these decimal places you can go back to your variable view and from here just look at this decimal all of the decimals are two so you can manually convert them to zero and there is also an automatic method through which you can convert it to zero so this is how if if you just go back to our data view and you will see for the first three questions now it is not showing us any decimals because we have given it option of the zero decimal so this is what actually you need to learn how to put data into our spss sheet from the hard copy of the questionnaires i hope you are learning and in the next video uh, we will be having this data and we will start uh, the analysis of for example descriptive analysis and how to make graphs and all those things we'll be starting with that so thank you very much for now